What's going on YouTube? Hannah back making another brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as Ethereum Classic to US dollar. We're also going to be looking at the current coin market cap, as well as some other interesting things I'd like to point out in today's episode. There aren't going to be any articles to discuss in today's episode, more so because they discuss the same things that I'd like to share with you guys today. Now, as you guys know, there's been some pretty crazy stuff happening within the market right now. As you know, Litecoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic are all shooting up while Bitcoin kind of stays stagnant. So I do want to discuss the reasons behind all those moves. Otherwise, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up and let's jump into today's episode. So guys, uh, we're going to start with the current coin market cap. Then I guys, I want to show you my channel really quick and then we'll jump into the technical analysis. So as you guys can see, the current coin market cap is currently market is 272 bill, 24 hour volume is 66 and Bitcoin dominance is 67.5. Right off the bat, I'm seeing 24 hour volume from where it was two days ago at like 55 billion is now at 66. So about $11 billion in volume has entered the market. We know this because the coins are up. You can then see that the market cap is 272 72 billion, also a little bit higher than where it was yesterday. So looking at the top 10 cryptocurrencies, the first thing I'm, I'm seeing right now is XRP blowing up and so is Stellar Lumens. Um, I know we've been talking about Ethereum Classic for quite some time now. If you guys want to see me review another altcoin, please do feel free to leave it down in the comments below. This way I know which coin you want to see. Do you want to see XRP, maybe Stellar Lumens? Definitely let me know down below. Otherwise, Bitcoin literally at 0.08% negative. Uh, so no movement at all within this cryptocurrency. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just taking a little more time than the rest of the other altcoins. Uh, you can see that Ethereum is up 6.8%, XRP 14.5%, uh, Litecoin 3.4%. You could see uh, Stellar 20%. Basically what you're seeing is an uptrend. You could see that we're starting to move up in volume. Litecoin has been moving up since, and just because we're up 3.4%, today we were also up that yesterday too so xrp is taking a little bit longer to catch up to where litecoin was previously if we add yesterday's uptrend and today's uptrend it kind of equals to the same amount that xrp is experiencing today which has been flatlined for days on days on days i really want to look at uh xrp actually uh for tomorrow's video maybe but otherwise, we're seeing beautiful uptrends, uh, green all across the board, even some double digit cryptos. Things are looking really nice across uh, you know, the coin market cap. So it's definitely awesome. I'd like to take a look further and deeper into the altcoins and see what exactly is causing this momentum upwards. Hopefully you guys should know what exactly I'm referring to. Um, as I move on, you guys can see I'm on my channel right now. Uh, quick update for those of you who like YouTube. YouTube just changed their algorithm for the subscriber count. So basically you're not gonna actually see my total or anybody's total on YouTube for that matter. You're gonna see it rounded to three digits. So if you have uh, 535,000 400 subscribers, it's only going to round it to 535k, only three digits. So I'm at 11,600 something. It's going to keep that at 11,000 or 11.6 until I hit the 700 uh, subscriber count and then we'll move up higher. But what I wanted to show you guys merely was the articles or the videos that I've been posting the past couple of days. So my other thing is, as we know, uh, great news, Litecoin leads rally to higher levels. We know that. Uh, if we refer to two days ago, you said, is this the last time to buy Litecoin at these prices in regards to $60, $70? We're currently at $75. Even before then, you know, excuse the best Bitcoin or uh, the best credit card for beginners. Definitely check it out if you're interested. But moving on from that, wait is almost over. Litecoin's next move is, you know, coming. You can see I drew the uh, ascending or symmetrical triangle, which we then broke out of. Uh, Litecoin rare signal proves rally is ahead. We know that. Uh, Litecoin is going to surprise everybody. We're going to shoot up. Time is up. Litecoin is about to explode. After this, you can see another triangle that I drew on before we shut up in price. So basically, I was foreshadowing the moves to you know higher levels and i know a lot of you guys give me you know annoying comments or just general comments saying that oh you've made this video in the past well i try to make a video every day to update you guys and you know i've been saying every video that we are going to lead to an uptrend at around a certain date it is currently september 18th and i believe if we you know went back to previous videos i said around september 18th to 19th we were going to see that break to the upside which is now currently happening so 
I did call it. I do make a couple videos leading to the breakup, but that's because I try to keep up with constant content for you guys. So, you know, the past couple of videos have been the same thing or relatively the same thing, basically calling the breakout, which we know we've been tracking. So that pretty much shows that we are going to move up. You can see Litecoin prepares for critical volume. Litecoin Ignore the Litecoin might be in big trouble. This was trying to predict whether or not we're going to break up or down. Clearly, as we followed my videos, we decided to break upwards. So I've been saying in my videos that we're going to be breaking to higher levels and we've been tracking that. So now to move on to the chartings for you guys, you can see what exactly I'm referring to. So we're going to start with Litecoin. We'll go to Bitcoin then the other cryptos. Or actually, let's start with Ethereum first. Um, so we've been tracking these cryptocurrencies, trying to figure out their next move. You can see with Ethereum, um, we do have this uptrend right here that has been on the market for quite some time, ever since February. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, I like to you know look at the previous history and then move on. I know this might sound repetitive for people who have been watching, but you can see for those of you who are new, this uptrend, and then we have a downtrend right here where, where we've hit resistance numerous times. You can see we were really waiting to see whether or not Ethereum can break above its uptrend, which unfortunately we broke bearish from a couple of weeks ago. That was the unfortunate part. You'll also notice that back in July, we broke below our high-low MMA and we need to get back inside of it. This high-low MMA, is basically the method of showing whether or not the coin is stable or whether we're undervalued or overvalued. When we trade above it, we're overvalued. When we trade under it, we're undervalued. So when I see the coin below its high low MMA, it's a great indication that we're going to pull back up to it. That is exactly what happened. This is why I say it's great buying opportunity prices. So you can see we were at 168, 170 on Ethereum's price, and then we ended up shooting up to the high low MMA. We needed to not only break the uptrend, but also climb back up into the high low MMA, regaining more neutral levels and prices. That is exactly what happened. We're currently trading at 213, which means if you bought at 170, you would have gained about $43 per crypto, per Ethereum token that you purchased. So that's a pretty good profit. So moving on from that now, now that you can clearly see that my breakout was called correctly, I want to show you guys uh, a little more future, a little more what, what can we expect for the upside. So right now we're nearing overbought. So the market we know is very weak. Uh, yes, we did just have this small correction back to the upside, but we're in a weak standpoint, which means we're not really seeing a ton of movement. Uh, we've been at a bear market for quite some time now. So I'll be extremely shocked if we manage to break inside the overbought level. You can see on the four hour, we're extremely overbought. You can see on the weekly, we look okay. Trading at around 50 on the RSI gives us potential to move up higher. So long term, you can see we actually are below the high low MMA for Ethereum as well with a gap of 240 all the way up to 350. So this is great. It's beautiful to see that we still have potential to reach 340 before we see any sort of long term bear market. You'll notice back when we tested 366, you can see with this wick right here for that week, that was a great indication that we kind of need to head down. We've kind of hit our climax at the top. So the fact that we're still undervalued gives us, you know, you can see from where we were currently, which was back in May, uh, May 6th, we shot all the way up to the top in June 24th, May, June, that's about a month and a half, or almost two months, guys. So this gives us about two months of bull market right now. It gives us two months to recover back to prices that high. On the daily, in short term, we kind of look a little, ner like I'm kind of nervous in terms of the price. I do think consolidation is needed right now. We've seen the bull market within Ethereum. I'd like to see consolidation back down to the uptrend, which is, uh, uh, pretty much a great point to continue to trade on. I'm just going to extend this up higher. So what I mean by that is we've used this in the past as a means of support. So I'd like to see us use it again to trade higher. Moving on to Litecoin, because I know this video is getting long. Litecoin is following Ethereum's path. You can see Ethereum moved up just very quickly to its high level MMA. Ethereum is basically doing the, or sorry, Litecoin is doing the exact same thing. Ethereum is foreshadowing what the rest of the altcoins are, are trying to do. So Litecoin right now is in this you know, potential move up to the top. We're lower on the RSI than Ethereum is at 60. Gives us room to trade higher. We're at around $76. We have not broken this uptrend or this resistance at $70 since um, August, the end of August. So we've had all of June, July, and September. Two months now of just trading sideways. This was August 28th. 
then we went to September, August, September, sorry, just, just September. So we've had a month now of just downtrend below the $70 resistance, and we're finally broke through that. That's amazing, that's awesome. And we're starting to climb back up. So truthfully, I think the highest like point can go is around 83 to $90 before we see a short-term uh, pullback. You'll notice we finally broke back inside the highlight MMA on the weekly, which is huge. Plenty of room on the RSI. And you can see this gives us a long-term outlook of around $105 on the coin. So I do think we're entering a short-term, or we have a couple more days of potential bull market for Litecoin before we see any significant retracement in the price. As for Bitcoin, which is the biggest catalyst here on the channel, as we're waiting, we're super excited because we have maybe a day more if not two days before we see the project projected major boom in this crypto. You can see everything volume is slowing down. No more higher. We're, we're starting to see higher lows. We're seeing lower highs. Everything is coming down into one point right where we are now. It's great to see that this is a green candle and not a red, but we're waiting to see where the volume takes us. We're going to see a very big move. RSI is pretty much flatlined. Prices are pretty much consolidated back down into one point, and we're waiting right now to see whether or not Bitcoin is going to break with extreme volume up to significantly high levels. If we do break bullish, we can expect to see a pretty major bull run, easily up to 13,000. Not trying to overhype this coin. If we see a bear run, we could see a bear, you know, retracement easily down to seven grand. So it's a hit or miss right now. Coins are breaking up. It kind of foreshadows the path for Bitcoin, but we have to keep keen. We have to be, you know, alert and watching this coin, but everything is looking okay right now. Even Ethereum Classic, which is also in a symmetrical triangle, is still trading out. This ends later, more into October, mid-October. You can see it's currently retesting its high low middle moving average, but for the most part, it's beautiful. And it's nice to see that we're pretty much consolidating back down into the triangle right here. So the biggest focus right now is Bitcoin. All eyes are on Bitcoin. If it follows Litecoin and Ethereum, we'll have a pretty good day. Otherwise, guys, if you are new to the channel and have yet to subscribe to me on Patreon, it's the first link in the description. Definitely make sure to check that out. This gives you all my cryptocurrency technical analysis charts, as well as I do help everybody figure out how exactly the plays work. And it's definitely a community that you should be involved in if you're here on and invested into cryptocurrency. So definitely check that out. It does help you graph and make profit and predict these, you know, major uptrends that we're seeing right now within Litecoin and Ethereum. Otherwise, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.